With day one of free agency behind us, there's a lot of questions answered, but still a lot of questions remain. The Philadelphia Eagles are a team that came in here looking for a few certain things, and while we may have hit one, we're still missing a couple. You want Philly food? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Joe Castro, a.k.a. Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly, the podcast. So today, I want to talk about the Eagles' first day of free agency. Obviously, we had the tampering period, right, where they were able to talk to a bunch of guys. There's a lot of rumors that they were in contact with people, but there are some guys that I feel like we missed out on. Now, before we get into that, I do want to be sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the family. We are on the road to 4K, and we would love for you guys to join that ride. But Let's hop right into it. So obviously we were able to get Hassan Riddick. I made a video about that not too long ago and I'm ecstatic. I'm to the moon and back about having a guy like that at the price that we were able to get him. Obviously it seems like he's ecstatic as well, already seen in Eagles gear, you know, working out, ready to come to Philly. So I'm hype about that. Obviously it becomes official today, so that's awesome. Um, and then you look at the guys that we've, we've been talking to, right? Marcus Williams is a guy that we've been wanting to get as the Eagles fan base. And it seemed like Howie Roseman and our franchise were on the same page as us. Obviously, unfortunately, we did not get him. It is what it is. We can't win them all. Uh, but that is a guy that was definitely on our list that I am upset to definitely see. But at the, at the same token, there are some other guys out there at the safety position. It'll be interesting to see if they make a move there. Now, the position of, of concern that I'm at right now is the wide receiving spot. You look at all the guys, I mean, I give it to Howie Roseman for trying to go out there and get Calvin Ridley looking, you know, ahead, looking into the future. I think he saw something in this free agency, like I was saying, a lot, right? You know, this free agency period and free agency in general is a time where a lot of players get overpaid. And we're seeing that, right? Christian Kirk went out there and got a bag with the Jaguars. And we're seeing a lot of these guys that were kind of on our list getting scooped, uh, scooped up, right? We saw DJ Shark now getting scooped up a, a one-year $10 million deal. It's expensive, but $10 million isn't what $10 million was last year. It's actually a pretty good deal right now. So you look at this, this remaining wide receiving class, and there's nobody that sticks out to me. There's nobody that I say, I need to have this person. Uh, so I'm getting a little bit worried about getting our vet wide receiver in this free agency class. We'll see what happens. There are some targets as far as the wide receiving uh, uh, trade market goes, right? You're hearing LaVishka Chanel is now kind of available for talks. Maybe there's some other guys that we can start looking at when these bigger names start going to teams. Uh, it, it sucks that we weren't able to fill that on the first day, but we this is the type of team we are. The Philadelphia Eagles are going back into their old bag of tricks. The Eagles do not go crazy on day one. It, it gives me gives me vibes of last year, right? Last year we went out there, uh, paid some money for Javon Hargrave, but also we waited, right? We waited a long time, got Steven Nelson on a deal, got Anthony Harris on a deal, got uh, Eric Wilson on a deal, right? We were able to get some players at prices that we didn't necessarily think that were realistic, right? So I think that the Philadelphia Eagles and Howie Roseman in specific is kind of waiting, right? It's playing that waiting game to see where these uh, contracts are going to be heading, see who kind of gets left overall, and see what you have to fill in in the draft. Let's not forget that we have 11 draft picks. Let's not forget that we have a lot of ammo if we are to be a team that wants to trade. So we're, we, we got our eyes open, right? But day one, nothing too crazy. It's official Hassan Reddick is part of the team. We did bring back Greg Ward. We did bring back Andre Charcouche. I don't know if that's how you say his name, hopefully. We'll see what happens. Uh, but either way, we were able to make some moves. Nothing too, too big. Obviously, Jason Kelsey is back as an eagle. But nothing crazy. But honestly, I think this is what we could have expected. A lot of us wanted to see some of these bigger names on the Eagles. Just wasn't in the cards. We were taking swings. We just kind of struck out. Obviously, we were able to get signed. That's a huge one. But we'll see what happens. I think that the Eagles are going to probably wait a day or two. And then you'll start hearing their name come up a little bit more in trade talks and stuff like that. And, and maybe a free agent or two. I don't know. Not really loving what's at left out on the board. Maybe a name that a lot of people aren't talking about is Byron Pringle from uh, Kansas City. If he's still out there, I would love to take a shot at, at him. Tall guy, fast guy, played on a championship team, has that pedigree. But that's just the name I'm going to throw out there. But you guys let me know. Look at this uh, free agency class. Who's left? 
Who do you want? Who do you want to see the Philadelphia Eagles go after? Unfortunately, Miles Jack, I, I was going to make a video about Miles Jack, but of course, Miles Jack goes to Pittsburgh, right? Pittsburgh for two years, $16 million, which is chump change. Chump change. We could have done that. But I, I'm not going to get too upset. It is what it is. Linebacker is definitely a spot I want us to look at. You guys let me know who in this free agency class are you looking at. Uh, but other than that, man, y'all know what it is. This fly goes fly, and we are out here. Peace. Eagles fans everywhere. This is for yeah. you. Fly goes fly. You want to see touchdown, touchdown. Time to get changed this ring. You don't really want to start a thing. This is a bird game nation, baby. It's a Philly thing. Hater, and you looking like you type trash. I'm just here going on Philly, Philly, the podcast. And we can call a man dog. Or watch my score off the hand dog. Rest of the division, your man saw. Jackson like Sean, hunting like Brando. Season head, early time to do a minute. Your boy Philly Fresco. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in.